Hey, welcome to this unboxing. This is for the game concept. Now, we picked this up at the UK Games Expo. I've been after it for a while. I think it's from 2013, isn't it? It's won 10 international awards. So this is the updated box with all the awards in. Um, published by Repos. It's quite funny, the Repos stand. The guy there, he's got the big Mexican hat on and everything, really in character. Pretty good. And I've seen it, and I went a small budget at the UK Games Expo to buy games, uh, but it it came at a bargain with the with the large rollout mouse mat, both for £35. And I mean, there's no P&P, is there? So no postage and packing. So £35 for the two and a four. It's a good game for the family. Plays between four and 12. Great for Christmas gatherings and parties and stuff. It's a party game. So let's have a look what's in the box of Concept. So it's like a charades game, isn't it? I have watched videos on it. I've watched the Dice Tower uh, Tom Bustle video on this. And it looks a lot of fun. Uh, with great components, so we got concept in a minute. So just to get people up and running on the game, and it's in two teams, I believe, isn't it? Uh, time, time's up. That's uh, advertising some other games. Got some player aid sheets here. Four of those. We got some clue tokens here, I guess, or bright ideas. There's ones with two twin light bulbs and single light bulbs. I hope they're LED ones so they're not going to give off too much, burn too much of electricity. Um, Repost Productions little catalogue here. Calafico. Uh, Cash and Guns, Seven Wonders of course and Seven Wonders Jewel proven very popular at the moment. Oh look we've got a nice, a really nice white insert here matching the nice crisp white box. And it's got nice indentations in it, or cutouts in the corners to get your hand into the box. So let's have a look at the board. Following in that nice clean style. Right, so look at the board. So all it needs is a little bit of back bending on all the seams to loosen it up a bit. That one's going to go that way. And there we go, flat as a pancake. But we're not going to be using that board because we're going to use this mount mat, mouse mat. Let's have a look. So the tokens are going to go into the uh, form in the formed out pieces in the box. Apparently the components are really nice and they're heavier than, than, than I expected. And the tr nice translucent tokens. You've got question marks here. Uh, 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 exclamation. exclamation marks and a question mark here. And some nice little plastic cubes. We've seen these in many games. Perhaps about seven or eight millimeter, seven millimeter, I'd say them cubes. To be honest, a bit slight, a bit smaller than the eight mils. Oh, we've got a nice little dish here. That's always handy, isn't it? And uh, a couple of decks of cards. Let's have a look. I might try and get a game of this in tonight. We have got a game night planned for tonight, but we might be playing the excellent Val game Luna again. Been playing a couple of games of that recently. So Adam's coming around to play. Nice, lovely, clean concept on the cards, isn't it? Concept. Can't get it out of my head right now. So look, uh, and these are the different categories, aren't they? So you've got a blue, a red, and a black category. I guess the easy, medium, hard, I would think, maybe, something like that. Computer, windmill, tinfoil, Home Alone, Diablo, Mayonnaise, Lottery, uh, Ennio Morricone. Not sure. Hopscotch. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is just more the same. Yes, it is. So, plenty of card decks there, plenty of things to to illustrate on the board to give people clues the teams let's have a look at this let's game tackle mat. this gaming mat i say really really good price for this and the game for 35 from the uh repos or ripos repos not wasn't a ripoff a repos site let's have a look this looks really nice doesn't it you know you know the price of these uh large like mouse mat things they cost a fortune so to get this and the game for 35 Spondulas wasn't bad at all. Well, a bit better than not bad at all, I think. Let's have a look. I mean, it'd make a great gaming mat regardless, wouldn't it, really? Oh, I smell. you got that lovely, strong rubberized smell. Let's see. It's nice fit quality with a nice finish on it. There we go. Needs a little bit of straightening out. It's got a bit of a kink in it. We'll leave it under some weights or, or under some game boxes. 
been obviously been rolled up in that tube for quite a while. So that is lovely, isn't it? Um, nice big game mat to to actually uh, play the concept game on. It's going to look really nice, isn't it? And a lot of fun. Get a lot of people around the table for events, Christmas, birthdays, um, parties, what have you. That is concept. Thanks for watching. I just want to show uh, punch the the one little punch board sheet with the the light bulb tokens in. But look how clean it is. You know they've really gone for a nice style there, haven't they? Um, the little pieces, the nice nice translucent plastic pieces pieces going in here, and the 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 way the bowl comes out, the little cubes in there, and the card decks, and it's just so clinical and nice, isn't it? Really, really nice presentation uh, for concept. Thanks for watching.